Hi everybody, this is Sarah here. In this video we're going to do a single leg squatting workout. We're first going to do some uh, split squat variations where one leg is supporting on the ground and then we're going to move on to doing uh, like pistol squats and shrimp squats which are a bit more challenging exercises but there's going to be like progressions so that anybody could, can try them. So the biggest difference when you compare to uh, like two leg squat is of course you need to stabilize more <clears throat> the lateral glute adductors need to work and they translate very well to many sports and martial arts uh, where you need to uh, balance on one leg. The other thing is that they will kind of let you know if you have imbalances between the legs so one leg is stronger than the other and this lets you work on those imbalances. But we're not going to take a look at the exercises and <clears throat> like I'll be explaining in the video some differences and details about them. So let's go. We start with a split squat variation where the movement goes just up and down and the front leg doesn't straighten completely. You can try to target the glutes and hamstrings a bit more in this one, especially if you drive through the heel of the front leg. You can also keep the legs a bit further apart and this will also emphasize a bit more the glutes and hams. So the closer you keep the legs, the more there's going to be the quadriceps. But this variation, although the legs are very uh, like uh, fur far away from each other, this still works the quadriceps because you are going like from forth to back. So there's a lot of knee extension and you just basically push your body uh, backwards. So this one, this version is for the front tie. Uh, also, of course, the, the wider your stance, the more your hip flexors are going to get stretched. Next is the Bulgarian split squat in which the rear leg is elevated. Uh, this stretches the hip flexors more and it also places more weight on the front leg, uh, making the exercise a bit harder. So in this first Bulgarian uh, split squat, the toes are on the bench. Uh, but the second version that we do is called the bottoms up, <clears throat> so you can see that the bottom of the feet is facing up. And this places even more weight on the front leg, so otherwise it's the same, but just a bit harder variation once again. So in all of these exercises, try to remain a very upright and straight torso, so keep your uh, core nice and tight and just try to uh, push push with your leg. Next we do a shrimp squat. Uh, holding the weight in front of your body, uh, it makes the exercise easier because it, it does give you a counterbalance. But this one is one of the best I know for really targeting the glutes, also hamstrings. And try to focus on really kind of Pushing the hip, uh, completely extend the hip in this one. So you push the hip from back to the front. So here's without the counterbalance. And you can see that I really, I tried to push the hips open uh, to, to target the glutes. I even tried uh, to do the shrimp squat uh, with the barbell, but I just didn't really have the uh, strength left for them anymore. Next we do assisted pistol squats. So in this one, uh, you will take support from, uh, for example, from some kind of pole or wall, or you can use TRX, and then you pull yourself a bit so that you can uh, do the squat. So the pistol squat, Compared to the shrimp squat, I think it, it requires more uh, the strength from the quadriceps and in the bottom position especially it takes a lot more strength from the hip flexors. So try to do this with very controlled descending, that's how you basically make the, the best gains and especially the, descend, the, the, the lowering I think requires a lot of strength from the quadriceps. So this Using the counterbalance once again helps or makes the exercise much more easier because you don't fall back. 
So now here's the pistol squad without the support. So you really need to concentrate a lot, do it very con with a lot of control uh, to get it done. This is the last excess of the, of the video. I uh, hope you get got something useful out of this that you can put on into your own workouts. And there's more videos coming soon and I'll see you soon. Take care.